Yesterday we were talking about J.P. Morgan settling with the SEC. Today we were talking about Morgan Keegan. The firm is paying $200 million to settle claims with state and federal regulators over subprime securities. Lizzie O'Leary has all the details from Washington. Hey, Lizzie. Hi, Lisa. Well, we're talking about the SEC, along with several state regulators from South Carolina, Alabama, Kentucky, and Tennessee. They made the announcement this hour. We're talking about two Regents Financial Corp Morgan Keegan units, and they're agreeing to pay $200 million to settle claims tied to subprime-backed securities. Now, the SEC and FINRA, along with these states, says that the company last year did a number of things. They allege that the Morgan Keegan unit uh, essentially misled clients, inflated the value of some of their subprime securities, and then sold them without informing investors of the risks. Rob Kuzami, who's the head of the SEC's enforcement division, said the company misconduct did grievous harm to investors, saying the falsification of fund values misrepresented critical information exactly when investors needed it most. They lost more than a billion dollars of their investors' money, and the probe has been focused on funds between March 2007 and March 2008. That's, of course, when Kuzami was saying the subprime mortgage meltdown impact was hitting the funds the most. Regulators said two employees will pay penalties, and James Kelso will be barred from the industry for life. You see a picture of him there.